Hi everyone, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and today I thought it might be fun for us to play with some envelopes and some dried petals. I've had this, uh, I don't know, an envelope thing going on lately, and I've just been, yeah, thinking, I'm just goofing around, and I just wanted to show you this. I don't know how sturdy it's going to be, but I think it's going to be okay. I made a few different examples. Um, okay, so let me show you what I made. First of all, let me show you this. This is inside a current journal, and uh, this is uh, an envelope that has, I have a collection of old dried flowers and things like that that I mounted onto some cardstock. I just glued them down on here lightly with some, uh, probably the wrong glue, I think it was a glue stick, just to hold them so I, they wouldn't get all uh, crushed. And they, I've had these for, I don't know, five years possibly and obviously they're very brown and that and this was the old-fashioned way of just uh folding them in a book and squashing them and that's what i got and i said well today five years later you're going to pull these out and use these missy yes yes you are um but since then okay so what i did was basically um i'll show you how i made this it's very easy but i used an envelope and the dried flowers around the edges so we will make that oops drop something hang on let me retrieve that before Snuffles eats it. Okay, well, come here, washi tape. I gotcha. All right, and then the second thing I made was um, I do have a nice collection of rose petals that have color in them, and I used the uh, Micro Fleur drying uh, tool, and for some reason, now these flowers are probably at least three or four years old, and you can really see how much the color is uh, maintained. Um, and I don't know if that was flower specific or not, but I do have another, if I can reach it, oh, here's another dried flower I did a while back with that thing. And you can just see it really retains the color a lot better. So I thought I would use some of these up and uh, put them in some journals and with envelopes. So here was the idea. Actually, um, the idea is on the other side. Let me show you the, the idea started like this. I just wanted, I wondered what would happen if I just covered the back of an envelope with dried flowers. Now, obviously the ends are delicate and they'll probably break off, but I thought that little layered pattern looked so pretty. And uh, so I didn't break the edges off. I just wanted to leave it as is. Now, this is something that um, um, I think might be best as a removable as opposed to um, something that's going to take a lot of wear and tear of like tucking things in and out. But of course I went and tucked things in it and I just used some DigiKits uh, pictures that I had as an example and decorated the front with um, some stickers and stamps and things like that and a little washi tape. Um, but I thought that would look so pretty in a journal um, clipped on somehow, uh, a removable. Um, so, but anyway, I, I think I'm going to try and take it up one notch, trying to figure out a way to possibly seal or uh, break the edges off all, so they're, they come off already. So let's, let's take it to the next level together. I thought that might be fun. Okay, so let me just put you there. All right, so what do you need? You need to start with an envelope. Where's my envelope? And you can use a, a regular envelope or a, um, a junk mail envelope. It really doesn't matter because it's going to be covered, but I think initially I'm going to start with a smaller envelope because I don't want it to stick out beyond the borders of my junk journal so that it, it maintains its integrity a little more over the years, hopefully. Okay, let's get down here a little more. And a um, very basic process. I'm using Scotch Create glue stick today, but you could use any glue to glue these down. I think that would work just fine. I'm, a, I'm on a glue mat, yes. I'm at least that organized. I've got tails of threads coming off my glue stick, of course. Of course, of course. Um, but yeah, this, I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of fun. You know, sometimes you just got to go go a little, ah, don't touch that with the glue, silly. Okay, put that over there. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and just layer these down. And I'm going to go over beyond the edges so that I can work with them. And, uh, oh, there goes Sunny. will now bark because Papa is in the laundry room making a laundry room noise. Yes. Way to go, Papa. Um, all right, here we go. We're just going around the mountain first. Oops. These obviously are, are very delicate. Um, but this is kind of fun. Just glue. I feel like, oh, I don't know. It feels like, um, I don't know, something out of fairyland or... 
um, like mystical, magical little fairy butterfly wing like feeling going on here. At least that's what I, I have going on in my mind. Whether it actually looks like that, who knows? Um, some folded when they were getting dried, but we can open them up. There you go. And uh, I'll just, oh, can you see my pile here? Okay, yeah. I'm just going to grab from, I'm going to try and put the pretty ones that show. Whoop, get, put, should get it in the right spot, Pam. Now, some of the edges are going to lift up, obviously. So that's where we're taking it to the next level. I have an idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but uh, my idea is to cover this with Mod Podge and then put a sheet of blank tissue over the top to seal it to see if you can still see this but it is um, uh, at least sealed to some degree I don't know if this is going to work we're just going to try and it may be a big failure flopperoo but it's just so pretty as it is I mean I just like I want to put it on top of a birthday cake or something okay I'll just get it up without tearing it apart okay so now obviously the edges are going to break so I'm just going to go in there and sand them off with our old friend, where are you? Oh, thank goodness, I thought somebody took him. Our old friend, sanding block. Okay, here we go. And just see what this does. It'll be a big disaster or it'll be grand. We shall see. So far it's okay, it's taking me right to the edge. I'm going very lightly, because obviously these are very delicate. It's not hard to do, they, they're just coming off right on the edge, which is highly convenient. And that may be an option to deal with the fluttery edges. And I think you could just stop at this mark. Maybe you want to like little put a little glue under there, which is not the easiest thing to do. Maybe it would be easier to put the glue on this one first and then lay it down. That's probably a better technique, but well, too late now. Okay, oh, can't even get under there. I'm not going to worry about it. Lift it up again without tearing it apart. Okay, here we go. We're, and we're sanding. And we're sanding. Okay, lost a few little little tiny edges there, but nothing nothing horrible. I think it's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? Wouldn't it be pretty to to find in a journal? Be like in in a nature journal or in a uh, you know a fairy journal or something like that. I'm like, oh look at this, isn't that pretty? Yeah. So you, you could actually stop here if you were brave, you know, and you, and you weren't about worried about it all flaking apart. Um, but let's say. You're saying to yourself, I don't know, I don't know, Pam. I think it looks a little, a little like it's gonna fall apart any second. So let's try and seal it in and see what happens. Um, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we are gonna give it a go. Now I, I sort of half redesigned, hang on, I gotta go find my Mod Podge, it moved. Okay, I found my Mod Podge, yay! And this is probably the worst Mod Podge uh, container in, in the world, but it's, and it looks like it's moldy. It's not. It's a uh, paint. Okay. It's just paint. But um, I thought maybe a, a little um, one of these types of brushes might be the best. It's very thin and might delicate. Well, we'll just get, give this a go because a regular paintbrush, I think, would just flake all that stuff off. All right. Well, let me see if I can sneak a little of that under there. Yep, there we go. Okay. I'll lay you down. Lay you down. Lay you down. Okay. Everybody breathe easy. Easy breathing only. Whoop, that guy wants to move. No, you cannot move. You are you are shackled there for life and eternity and everything. And I think you could actually just leave it in Mod Podge. You don't even have to put the, the tissue on top of it. We'll just try it the whole way and see what happens. Maybe while this guy is drying, I'll make the other one with you. And, and if you have old dried petals that have gone brown and you want to make something that looks like that, we are coming into fall. So brown petals can actually work in your favor if you have them. And, uh, you know, who doesn't love a little brown petal? Nothing wrong with a brown petal. Um, okay. Yeah, this is actually, it's, go it's going on better than I thought. I thought everything was going to crinkle and crackle to pieces. I probably should stick a little glue under that guy. A fan brush. I think that's what this is called, a fan brush. I'll see if I can put a link to one. But you can get these at any, any art store. Um, they probably even sell them at Walmart and stuff. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, but... Um, not too hard to find Hobby Lobby, Michaels, that kind of stuff. Uh, could you could you ever keep your desk clean, Missy? We really need to have a talk. You know, you clean it up and it gets messy right away. I guess that just means I'm crafting. Um, yeah, <laughs> the 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 futility of trying to keep the desk clean. Oops, see there, something happened. I got a little aggressive, got distracted. 
and I took my eye off the ball. Okay, back on here. Okay, there, everything is glued down. Everything has glue on it. Okay. All right, so we will let that dry. And uh, let me close up my Mod Podge. Just put it over here in that gorgeous... Somebody asked me once if that was my lunch. No, it's not my lunch. <laughs> it's my Mod Podge. I should really run and uh, rinse that. Um, yeah, hang on. Oh, no, I might be gluing something in a second, so I decided to stay. Okay, I'm just going to put this to the side. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to put this over here. There we go. It's over there, drying, 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 drying. Okay, so let's let that dry. Now let's clean this off. Hang on, let me clean this off. Okay, I'm just using a baby wipe to wipe off the, the glue and a little extra flower petals. Probably crushing half of my rose petals as it is but little rose petals we're going to give you a break for a second we're going to go back over to very old but fondly loved brown rose petals from many years ago what else we have in here i'm just looking a quick peek see if there's anything else it's like a, oh i got a few things Oop, drop that and gotta get it some some dried weeds nothing like a good dried weed okay so with this guy this guy okay he actually started off as the same concept I was going to cover the face of the journal but because I, I just started with a regular envelope just a little you know Dollar Tree envelope or a greeting card envelope something like that and uh, okay, let me put you guys over here I need a little elbow room elbow room please okay Boop. all right nothing is yeah, you're gluey you're gluey who are we kidding you're very gluey all right, well, it's, it's going to get gluey. I'll have, I'll have to cover it up on the other side. That's all there is to it. Yep. Uh, no, I won't because I'm going to glue this whole thing down. So what I did was I started with whoop, the Scotch Create glue stick. And um, I covered the whole thing. But since I'm only going around the borders uh, with this design, i to get that string out of there. And I'm just going to go around the borders and try that. And hopefully I'll have a, there's that string again, <laughs> figures. Um, okay, going around and leaving the inside bare so somebody could write on if they wanted to write a little note. All these little magic notes, right? Okay, so let's see if any of these will actually come off. And even if, uh, with the other one, they came off in pieces. So my grand scheme of uh, putting the glue stick down didn't work all that well. <laughs> I'm going to put this kind of, eh, kind of like that there. I thought it looks good. And I'm just, whatever I can get off of here... Okay, and the, I like the way it tore. I thought that gave it a little bit of, um, I don't know, character. Yeah, let's call it character. All right, here we go. Okay, so anything that looks like a corner, kind of put in a corner, they all kind of end up looking like corners because that's the way they tear. Um, okay, layer. And, uh, oh, all right, we're going to have to move on to you. We pretty much cleared the first deck of that one. Um I'll put you up a little higher. Okay, so here's my thing I'm pulling from. Just random. I can't wait forever. Your glue's going to dry, Missy. Okay, this guy can come in the corner. Okay. This guy's going to be big enough to fit on a, a page, so I'm not too worried about him. I'm going to put you down there. There. And uh, so, yeah, little broken pieces will work, too. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um... It kind of gives it that little, like na Mother Nature may have made it. Okay, Mother Nature is like curling her toes right now going, oh, even I could do better than that, Pam. Um, <laughs> all right, and uh, just coming around, coming around the little old mountain. I'll maybe put a leaf in here for fun. That might be a fun one. Maybe we'll put that on at the end. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to peel these off because it was some unknown glue substance I used a long time ago. Who knows what it was? You know, could have been anything back then. That was a millennia ago. Okay, Oop, get, get there. And the exposed um, glue stick will just dry. It'll just dry on its own. I'm banking on that. I'm thinking that's what's going to happen. And let's try and get a few more of these off. Okay, come on, come to mama. Uh, and they go pretty far. So if you if you have anything like this, give it a go. I mean, what, what, it's it's low risk. It's an envelope and some dried petals and uh 
So if you next time you get flowers or something, make sure you save the petals. Like grab them about a day or two before they look like they're ready for the bin, and then just squash them in a book or use the microfleur, uh, uh, like little uh, fast drying thing if you want them right away. Which usually I want them right away, but this was back in the day when I didn't even know there was a microfleur. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So yeah. And I, I don't know, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you think it's crazy looking? I think it's like very mother nature looking. And the fact that I'm going to mount the whole thing to a page, I think will keep these other little pieces more intact. So I'm going to glue those down too. So, um, so, okay. Oh, I was going to put the leaf on. Right, right. I hear you. I hear you. Actually, maybe a green leaf would be nice. I don't know why these didn't go. Uh, that looks pretty. I don't, I, um, I don't know why it didn't go uh, brown, but it didn't. Maybe this way? Yeah, that's kind of nice. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do some Fabrifix on this guy. Just because, just because, I'm going to glue him down. Glue him down. Down you go. No squeaking. No squeaking. No, oh, you don't have any glue under you. You're just like naked under there. Okay, I'm going to put something under there to tuck you down. There we go. You stay. Okay. And uh, there. Kind of like a little frame. And you could leave the inside for... Uh, note writing or you could um, put some lines on it or put a little uh, poem or a quote or something in the center wouldn't that be cute that'd be very cute or a little picture or something maybe we want to put another one of these that's pretty let's do that okay because um, I have them and I want to use them up so there we go we're just going to overload this puppy to crazy craziness craziness okay okay that's a little cross design there that's cute right yeah, now I was going to glue it down, but I already have one of these glued down in this journal, so I'm probably not going to glue that one. This one does extend a little bit above and beyond, so I'm assuming that's probably going to break off, but I think I'm okay with that. I think I think I'm okay with that. We'll see. As I'm making the journal, if it completely is a disaster, I might just remove it, but um, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> I really do. I think it's going to be okay. So we'll just put this one aside to dry, so if you... Um, ever want to try that um, if you collect leaves from outside this is just a little tip and let's say you found brown leaves wherever you are maybe it's fall maybe you're in Australia and brown curled leaves if you soak them in water for a couple hours and then lay them out on a tea towel with another little tea towel on top and then put a book on top uh, if you come back the next day you're probably going to have uh, flat leaves again or fl uh, flower petals again so you'll have some nice uh, flat things to work with and um, um, where are we time wise? Oh, we got lots of time. All right. So this guy is still drying, still drying, still drying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one of these. Um, oh, we were going to take it up a notch and lay on the, the tissue. Okay. Let's just go ahead and do that. I don't need to wait for that to dry. I hope it's wet enough now. Oh, more. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. Here is a tissue. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I have no idea what it's going to look like or if it's going to be good or silly. We shall see. Okay. Oh, it really sticks. I'll tell you that. I think I completely lost my flower design. Look at that. Maybe I can get it to come back. Maybe I have to put more, more Mod Podge on the top to, to see it. You think? You think we're ever going to see it again or is it just gone? All right, let's try. We got nothing to lose. Remember, it's only an envelope and some dried flower petals and now it's a little bit of glue and tissue paper but hey hey we're living dangerously today in these parts of the woods that's right all right we'll see if it if it comes through this way maybe not maybe i'm just going to end up with a big white thing um oh and if that happens then we'll all know and <laughs> you don't have to waste your time doing it but uh um then we're, i'm going to go ahead and make one of the other ones and and uh maybe just leave the mod podge on top to seal in the flowers Okay, so this might be a big fat nothing burger. Nothing burger. All right, here we go. Going across the edges, glowing, glowing. I don't see anything. You think that's going to dry clear and we're going to magically see uh, little yellow flowers under it? Uh, if you want to take a bet, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see. All right, well, we'll see. Let me put that over there to dry and, and then see what on earth happens. Not looking promising not looking promising but we shall see don't give up until it's done right okay so let's get another envelope here we go envelope at the ready and let's do the same thing okay 
I guess you could probably use Mod Podge too. Um, Mod Podge is a little bit wetter of a glue. That's why I'm using the Scotch Grey glue stick. But I mean, really, any glue going down on here is going to hold your flowers in place. Oop, I guess we're getting to the end of that baby. Go through this like water around here. Okay. All right, so let's just pop a couple of these guys down. Okay. And grab a little bushel full. Okay, so we're at the ready. Or, oh, stuck to the fingers. Yes, it's not good to have gluey fingers when you're working with dried flowers. No, that would just be silly. Who would do that? Anybody you know? No, no, nobody in these parts. No, that would be crazy town. Okay, here we go. Oh, missed the corner. Oh, I can slide. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're good. Phew! Phew! Okay, I'm just coming across the top. Well, come on, Pam, get cover it. If you're going to get in there and cover it, then cover it. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. There we are. And I just start with getting the corners. I think it's so pretty. I just, I don't know. I could play with flowers all day. Just leave me alone in the woods with the, uh, the flowers. I'll be fine. Yeah, come back. Come and get me tomorrow, you know? <laughs> um, just let me pretend it's a fairy land and I'm not coming back to the reality of the world. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. All right. Oh, you're lumpy. We don't want you. Okay. There. Very pretty. Let's see if we can find some, some cutie ones for the center. Mm, I should have probably glued under them. Oh, well. Too bad. Too late. I'll just glue over everything. You know, I'm like the one that didn't read the manual to my own chagrin. If I would have read the manual, I would have known. But no, no, just got to get in there and do it. See what happens. All right, there's a little piece. No, we need a cutie piece right there. Need something. How about you? You're like kind of cute. Okay. Yeah, maybe you need a little extra glue. Okay, I'm coming in for the save. This is probably what should be done for the ones where the little edges are going to flip up on you. I kind of like the feeling of it without any glue myself, but, you know, let's just see if we could glue it if we wanted to. I guess I should have rotated that guy the other way. Let's see if we could still do it without destroying everything. There. All right. There. Now, as long as nobody breathes, nobody goes anywhere. I think that looks pretty cool. Now to get it. Okay, but let's let's go ahead. Oh, should we? Uh, oh, okay. Getting it off here is not the easiest thing. Yep, let me move all my pretty little petals over there. Oh, let me try this thing. Oh, yep, okay. Well, I mean, I gotta just pick it up. Okay, I, I got it, I got it. Okay, so let's try the, uh, this thing again. I, I really don't like to say goodbye to those. I like those hanging over the edge. I mean, if it were me, and it is, <laughs> I would leave those, and I will on the one that I made. I'm not going to take them off. I like that one. Um, but I'll, I'll, you know, rough it around a bit and see how sturdy it is. But I'm going to put some Mod Podge on this one and just let it dry. We didn't actually complete that process, so I want, I want to see what happens, and maybe you want to see too. So let's just see. All right, a lot of little extras here right now. I just go, I'll go over there. I'll go over there. Okay. Now we will begin the painting of the Mod Podge onto the, the florid, floral stuff. Okay, here we go. We're going to start here and go out. What little piece came off. That's okay. I'm going to get a little tuck in there. That This fan brush is nice because you can kind of sneak your way under here. If you're a glue cheater like me, like anywhere you see a little area, you can kind of hit it a little bit. You know, it's all you need. A little dab will do you. Okay. And this is fun, isn't it? We're just playing with nature and envelopes. And uh, um, leaves, I think leaves will work as long as they're nice and flat. So like I said, consider soaking your leaves if they're curly. And uh, I wonder if it would work with green leaves. We must try that. They might be a little more pliable. Sometimes it's hard to get a green leaf to lay flat too because it has its natural curves and things like that. But if you can find some green leaves and just maybe press them for a day or something and then put them on here and glue them and, and cover them down with Mod Podge, that would be fun. Yeah, I wonder what that would look like. I'm trying to think of uh, if I got any leaves around that I could do that with. Well, probably outside, but they're still on the plant right now. But I would try that, depending on whether it's summer or winter, wherever you are. Huh. I think uh, sunny um, 
is having a snooze with Papa. We'll see if we can find him. He might have something to say about all this mayhem. This floral mayhem. <laughs> what are you doing now, Mother? Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think this, that's pretty good. Okay, so now we just got to wait for that to dry. Okay. And a, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, oh, oh I just removed a, a flower. Can you see that? Okay, let's pick you up and put you there. Okay, we might have to might have to shave you off in the, the grand scheme of things again at the end, but we'll do that at the end. So, and you can just go in with more repair flowers, I guess. Yeah. Somebody put that in the manual, please. Repair flowers might be necessary in case of a breach. Choo, choo, choo. Okay, there we go. All right, so now the whole thing is to um, put this aside and let it dry. Oh, it's always so hard to pick stuff up. Okay, I, I have tweezers too. I have like seven pair right behind me, but they're right behind me. That's far. Okay, here we go. Yep, yeah, you're going to go dry. Okay, go over there, over you. And uh, okay, so let me uh, let these, I'm going to clean up and have those dry and then we'll come back and assess. Okay, be right back. Okay, so we have a little bit of drying going on here. We still have some, I think I put too much glue down, so it's taking a little bit, but if you, let me see if I can zoom you in really close. You can see the flowers through it, and I think um, where it's dry, you're going to see more flower, less glue. So the flowers look like they have a wrinkled appearance on top, which is kind of cool. Um, not bad, workable. So you can see the veining of the flowers coming through. So I think as that dries, it'll even come through more so. But um, let me show you the other one. So this is the one with the uh, Mod Podge and then the tissue laid down on top of it, like a one ply, one ply of a tissue. That was, I actually peeled off a napkin. Okay, so here is the one with just Mod Podge on it. And I think that one's doing very well. It's almost dry, it's touchable. I think I'll probably just knock that little piece off. That was my repair piece. And it's got a little Mod Podge on it, so it's a little thicker now, but I think I can, I think I can, it feels more leathery now, I'd say. And it feels like this whole piece is gonna stay together quite well. So I would move forward with, I really like the way this one came out. I think that's really pretty. Can, can you see the, I know it gives some glare, but um, yeah, maybe there's a good angle. You can see the veining very well. It seems to be good on the edges. And then what to do, I have a little wrap around here, but hey, that happens in life, a little wrap around. Um, oh, that's got black on it. Huh. I'm, I'm, I apparently cross-pollinated my black and brown. So let me just go ahead and do these edges up a little bit and we will decorate this guy up while we're waiting for that other last one to dry, which is taking 107 years and I even put the blow dryer on it um, on cool. And, uh, but it's just taking its own sweet time. I'm just gonna color this whole flap. I think that might be nice. Make it look a little bit, uh, I, could, I should really change this dauber pad. It's like hanging on by a thread and I'm resisting for some reason. I wanna get my full mileage out of it. Yep, <laughs> what is that about? Who knows? Uh, okay, so there we go. That's kind of looking cool. I like that. Now, um, so let's, where's the other one? Oh, here. So this is without Mod Podge. This is with Mod Podge. Very sealed, very user-friendly. A little more delicate, but oh, so pretty. And um, then the last guy is like taking 100, 100 years to dry. So we'll just give him a little bit longer, but we're gonna go ahead and stuff these. Uh, so what I did was I just, um, oh, I wanted to show you this. What's in there? Something could be in there. Oh, it's the glue stick. Okay, um, so I just was grabbing some little pictures from DigiKits, and I grabbed this one. It is, if I got my microphone on? No, no, of course not. Hello, hello, sorry. <laughs> oh, worst videographer ever. Um, I grabbed this one, I think it's actually from the Christmas one, but she was just so pretty and I thought she might be nice to find inside of a, uh, um, a little envelope. And I'm just gonna break some of this off. But this was actually a piece of um, dyed paper that was a little bit crunchy. It got a little extra cooked in the, in the oven when I was baking it dry. But then what I found, so anyway, the whole idea was, I was gonna sneak her inside here. And uh, maybe one of these guys, these are just some general, this was, I think, from the diary set. And I just uh, stamped it with some 
music stamp on the inside, inked around it. I think I'm gonna tuck that in here. So it'll be like her diary, sneaking a peek in her diary. Okay, and um, I have others here, but the, I think I'll put those in the other one. But I think I'm going to stencil on the back here to give it a little bit of prettiness. And, oh, okay, I got one. Oh, it's gonna fight with me. Okay, come on. Are we still recording? Yeah, okay. So I think this would be a good one, I think. Oh, I didn't clean them oh, with modeling paste. So you really got to clean that stuff off or else it dries on here. You can pick it off till the cows come home. But, you know, who wants to do that? Nobody I know. No? Okay, so uh, I think this would actually be better if I spritzed it. Well, that'll go everywhere. But we could try it. Hang on, let me grab some, some dye. You could totally uh, just stencil it with, a, with this paddle, the makeup paddle brush in the... In the um, ink okay well i'll drill a little so you can see all right here we go see you can totally do that let's just do that that's pretty maybe we'll just do it on the edges that's kind of pretty sometimes you don't know until you actually get in here and muck about you know what i mean you gotta muck about a little be brave with your mucking oh that's pretty i like that yeah that's all we do with that there i don't have to clean anything or spray anything yay okay so we have this one I don't, I don't know if I'm going to leave this. This looks like it needs to come off. It looks too plastic and modern for my taste. And uh, maybe we'll just put a bead of uh, washi tape across here to cover the sticky. You don't need the sticky. Um, you could leave the sticky, but I'm not. I'm, just, I'm going to cover the sticky. And we could put something in the middle there if we liked. We could. Um, I don't know what, but did I, did I show you I put a... Um, so I backed her onto a piece of... Um, very overcooked, uh, coffee dye, or not coffee, what is, um, specialty ink dyes, so, uh, so I used some Bombay inks with that one, and I just thought, you know, it looked like it was torn out of a scrapbook somehow, I thought that was kind of cool, and this is just a little piece of cotton muslin, aka bed sheet, and, uh, stamped, and then glued on with the remainder of my Scotch Create glue stick, and then, and then what I discovered was, as I was crinkling off my uh, pieces of broken, overly dried um, paper that I baked, these would actually work if you don't have dried petals or leaves. You could use, if you have any books or pages that are extra, like they shatter when you touch them, uh, you can probably create little leaf-like designs, you know? and then glue them onto your projects and overlaying and, and making different patterns and things like that. Wouldn't that be cool? Actually, that kind of looks cool there. Maybe we can do something with that. We'll just put a weird piece on there, honoring the weirdness of this entire project. Here we go. Okay, let's just do that. And I'm going to go close to the edges with this guy because he's probably going to crinkle. But if I cover him, if I lock him down well, he won't, he won't break up and fall off in the hole. If you can gently take your finger and, and slide the glue, yes, smooshing, to the edges, then you should adhere the whole thing and you don't have to fear breakage. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Let's just put it straight in the middle, a little on the edge. Okay, down. All right. If you get any little extra, extra glue, just use your finger to roll it off at the point when it happened. There. So that'll kind of give you an indication of what's to come when you go in there. And you could keep going. You could keep adding decoration, design. You could put a word on there or um, what else? I have one thing I could, I could do on it, which will look kind of cute. Also, um, foretelling, foreshadowing what is to come. And uh, oh, here we go. I have the word summer. Okay. That's fun if you ever get these um, stamps that say the seasons. Um, they're very useful because, you know, we, we have seasons that come up over and over again. So maybe I'll just, I'll just put that there or something. Why is it too, too plain? I think it's all right. Or should I just leave it? What do you think? Or maybe I should put it over here or here, there, here. Now I don't know where to put it. How about like, like a little bit of it on? There we go. Oh, we have to ink the edges then. So it shows up. Okay. Here are the black. That should pop. Okay, now we're, we're just entered the realm of just goofing off and having fun at this point. Is that other thing dry yet? I don't think it's ever going to dry. I really don't. I'll probably have to come back tomorrow. Um, so I will uh, do my best to remember to show it to you in the next video once I... Uh, let, me, let me look at it again. Let me just, let me, let me just get this on there and then we'll, we'll look at that one more time. Okay, there we go. There. 
There we go. And uh, so you could do a million things with this. Another thing I thought of was uh, you could um, sprinkle a little bit of glitter down and then put the Mod Podge over and that would make a very fairy wing looking uh, uh, decorative um, look to it if you're going for the, the fairy wing decorative look. Let me put that on as a little flap. Can we do that? Yeah, we could totally do that. Let's do that. That like, kind of finishes it, don't you think? I think so. I think it needed that. It was like undone there at the top. Okay, let's see. Got a little pop a -roo. Got a little pop there. Make sure we push it down. You're not down. Oh, not down. Okay, then we're going to give you more glue. Okay, I'm down now. Okay, there we go. And we're good. We are very, very good. So you could just keep adding little layers and playing and um, enjoying the process. And that's 99% uh, of it, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. There we are. Now we have a flap. How fast was that, right? Um, there you go. Oh, I need to ink that. Did anybody see that? Oh, I totally need to ink that edge. Oh, I've got to ink it. Can't sleep until I ink it. Okay, and maybe this little edge too. Oh, the edges of this. See, you put one more thing on, and there you go. You got to ink it. You don't have to ink it. You know you don't have to ink it. I'm just teasing. All right. Oh, yeah, then the one big important piece, the back fold. I don't know. For some reason, that just completes everything. Just makes it look really weathered and old and cool. And I'm getting this stuck in everything. There we go. That's how, oh, yeah. Okay, put that down. <gasps> Let's put a leaf on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we go. Now we're rocking. Now we're rocking. Okay, here, like that. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, unwrap the legs. Okay, I have no blood going to the legs. Okay, here we go. That's pretty. That's pretty. I can like this side better. Okay. Good old fabric fix. Yep. I'm going to use this stuff up. Okay, there. There we go. Ta-da! What magnificent artwork. So, yeah, you can just have fun with your stuff. So I hope you're having fun. Um, goofing around. Let's see. We'll just take a quick peek, see where we're at. It is drying. Let me go closer so you can see better. It's coming through. It's just completely different look. So we will finish that another day, I think tomorrow. We have this one, which I think is very beautiful. And you could put a word or something on here, but I don't know. I just, I don't want to monkey with what's what's working. You know what I mean? Um, oh, there. Okay. And let me, up. Oh. oh, that's the easiest way to move your, to move your petals. Oh boy. Yep. Half of them just went on the floor. <laughs> okay. And we have this one. Mm-hmm. And what else did we do? Oh, we had this original guy. So you can see the with, without, and the old. Is a good examples here. Um, wi without Mod Podge, with Mod Podge, and the old. Yeah, and if I can get the glare out of that, I'll hopefully snap a pic. So there you go, folks. I hope you had fun just goofing around with envelopes and dried petals today. And um, thank you so much for hanging out. Um, welcome to everybody who is new. We've got a lot of new joiners, and we've got a lot of folks that have been here forever. And thank you for all your patience and, and understanding with um, um, uh, everything. I'm just everything <laughs> in general. Uh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. And my I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. If you've never signed up for that, uh, go ahead and sign up for it. The link is down below in the drop-down box below the video. And uh, you get a free digital image emailed to you monthly along with some other um, cool junk journal tips and things and a note from the bookmaker you can tuck inside your journal to help explain what a junk journal is for um, or how people can use it. Um, I also have an Etsy shop which houses my uh, my journals, my fundals which are um, old-fashioned pieces of paper uh, like old ledger and uh, handwriting and postcards and some fun uh, new papers and different papers, but all things, a collection of 100 pieces to get you started making junk journals. Um, it's only a style using the old actual ephemera. You don't have to... Um, uh, you do that to make junk journals. So I just want you to know that it's just uh, something to play with and see if you would like the feel of the paper and you like working with that type of thing. And uh, if it's hard for you to access or find, I hopefully put it there for you so it's easy to find. And also, um, I have uh, vintage digital kits in my Etsy shop. Uh, these are, you print and download them, or you download and print them, and then you can just use them at will, and they're always saved for you on Etsy for perpetuity. And uh, my Amazon shop, it holds um, basic tools and supplies that I use. Maybe not a spool 
stuff thing but um you know like like this kind of stuff yeah if you're looking for this kind of stuff it's in there and um you can find me on in instagram pinterest twitter linkedin and facebook and like i said all the links are down below and remember if um you had fun here please like subscribe and share with your friends and click the notification bell don't forget we have a, a facebook group going on a uh, very fun uh facebook group where we're doing weekly and monthly challenges and we're also um seeing what you guys make from these videos how fun is that and you guys are um just giving us bushelfuls of ideas so thank you for sharing all that you do and it's all also just perfectly okay to lurk and just look and watch and get inspired and that's fun too so remember please that fun can be simple and sunny got anything to say no i'm, I'm, I'm way over on the couch sleeping okay well there there you have it from the peanut gallery we'll catch him next time all right take care everybody i hope you're doing well and i see a canadian goose going by the window so i guess all is well take care great with reckless abandon Bye bye <laughs>